Harry Kelly, uh, I suppose, became important to Manx history because of his knowledge of the Manx language. And uh, a fellow called uh, Professor Carl Marstrander, who had done an awful lot of work studying the Irish language on the Blasket Islands back in the uh, very beginning of the 20th century, uh, decided to come to the Isle of Man to see whether... Uh, the Manx language still survived in any form and, and so it was quite uh, useful uh, that he came uh, so he went around the Isle of Man and was generally told well actually there's hardly any uh, Manx left and that there's, there's very very few of any people who can actually speak the language uh, so I think he was a bit despondent uh, anyway eventually he was told he should go to Craig Nash and sure enough he did and he, he met Harry Kelly and um, some significant recordings were taken of Harry Kelly speaking Manx. Uh, so that in itself was really very important because I think that's, that's one of the, the first examples of recorded uh, Manx. I think there were some others uh, prior to that, but that was, that was probably one of the, the big steps in terms of uh, doing any sort of systematic work to record uh, Manx speech.